Before we get to today's video, I just wanted to remind you guys that the 322 Threads giveaway is still live. It's live until March 30th. Every $5 that you spend on 322threads.com gets you one entry into the ultimate sled package giveaway, which is CNA skis, Woody's carbides and studs, Rock Speed FX handguards, and a $200 gift card to Southside Sales and Service. So head on over to 322threads.com and get those orders in and get entered into that awesome, awesome giveaway. And back to the video. What's going on guys and welcome back. We have a honestly probably the most beautiful day of the year. It's warm. I'm in a t-shirt, but we're on snowmobiles. So we finally have some snow to get on snow and bring you guys some video. So obviously behind me is the Polaris Cross Country 600 race sled. So the guys that are racing cross country, this is what you're getting from Polaris. It's exact sled. Um, we haven't done anything to it aside from stud it. And uh, we finally can get it on some snow. So Bruce is going to kind of go over a little bit of quick overview of what we already went over and yes we did do a whole kind of detail oriented video about this but if you guys missed that we're going to do a quick one here hey guys yeah this unit we did talk about it earlier this year and uh, one of the changes that they made on it was putting the uh, a little bit longer spindles in the front to pick the nose up and uh, obviously it makes it steer better and gives us more clearance underneath which is what they need when they're going through all that terrain that usually gets really really bad mm -hmm. um, but with the one i had last year compared to this one it's definitely noticeable uh it is just on a rail and you know it's just like it does not want to pick up a ski going around the corner so because it's pulling that because they do have the strap pulled uh probably five eighths of an inch a measurement yeah. uh, from what we use on a trail sled. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a lot, especially now when they pick up the nose. So when we talk about, you know, when we're changing springs in the front on stuff and we're changing springs in the rear to get the right attitude of the sled on a, on a uh, trail sled, well, they're doing it to this. Right. They're already make, giving it that attitude. They're, they're putting big springs in the front to hold the front up. So when you hit the brakes, it doesn't dive and put the track on the ground and then want to push through the turn until you until you um, basically let off and get it reset and then it'll go this you know this is made so that when it goes around the corner the ski's got the right amount of pressure there's not too much track on the ground and it wants to turn it doesn't want to because what we say is when they, when you're picking skis all the time in a corner we're saying that we've got you know a lot of track on the ground but we got good bite now so the thing's trying to go straight and turn at the same time and it's going to pick a ski up it doesn't or like it. doesn't or, like it or worst case it's it's, it's going to push depending on the snow um today the snow we got you could it's a little like glue um, so it's going to be uh it'll be a nice ride today to as far as handling wise but last night it was warm and mushy and then it tightened up and dropped probably eight or ten degrees and um the thing handled both ways mm -hmm. you know just yeah just, just really so good. here here in a little bit i'm going to take it out um just out into the the woods a little bit and then i'll give you guys you know my side of things but bruce has been on it he's got some miles on it so i mean you how do you feel what does it feel to you well i mean i've had a lot of 600s i mean i was a 600 guy i mean i don't care if it was a rush it was an xcr rush um when they went straight tunnel 2021 20, xcr 600 and then obviously now 650 in matrix so i've i'm always i've always been on a small motor commonly other than this year with the 9r now i'm you know definitely definitely shows the, me what the nine what horsepower will do <laughs> yeah uh, yeah but, bruce is now in big boy sleds <laughs> yeah yeah definitely you know that's the only thing that makes it feel weird is because i come off of that and get on this and it's like holy cow it's anybody home a spark plug you know but it's but in general it is the fastest 600 that i have ever ridden you know and responsive like a switch i mean just the you whack the throttle you can almost hear the reeds opening i mean it's just so responsive mm -hmm. so you know that fun factor with the motor the sled being light the sled want to turn it's yeah it is definitely a suspension works yeah suspension works and, and and realistically you know this unit we can if somebody wants this in their xcr or even a vr1 depending on how much money you want to spend but the whole thing is is this snowmobile is the snowmobile that commonly we all ride it is a matrix it's a 136 but it could be you know again because of the pitch of the track but in general you know the 128 129 136 137 somebody wants that that type of rigid and the track off the ground and make it so that it does what this does we're riding the snow we're already riding the snowmobiles mm -hmm. we just it we can make it 
that step and which is basically call it the top step besides snow cross and then all the way down the line to make it comfortable that's what we've been all you know talking about is getting that comfort you get out there you finally get to ride it's the way you want it right. whatever that is yeah so i'm gonna go ride it and then i'll give my two cents here uh when we get back <laughs> smokes is this 600 a ton of fun and i mean i talked about it last year and you know yes this is a small block and i've never been a small block person except for snowcross the only time i ran a 600 ever um but wow it is so fun it's so responsive it is like right there it's a you know i use the term as like a light switch it's either on or it's off um very very fun power wise power delivery is great you know you come in through a corner you could kind of feather it get in and out and then as soon as you go want to get out of a corner you just clamp it and it's right there um cornering is literally unbelievable and 
These actually came with CNA skis and we needed them for something else. So we put stock skis on this for now and it still turns on a dime. It's incredible. You know, I think those taller spindles definitely help it lay flatter and pick the nose up and it just stays planted in the corner. It really does work great. And then on top of all of that, you know, suspension is, is just unbelievable. You know, yes, we do a lot of suspension work. Bruce's 9R has a ton of stuff. My VR1 has a ton of stuff. But like he said earlier in the video, this is just like one step up from that. And it's, it's, they really, really did a good job with it. And the other thing on top of it, and it's like, yes, I jump from my VR1 to this and we go to the 9R, but they're all the same sled. They're the, you're sitting the same way. It's the same seat. It's the same handlebars. It's not like it's a completely different chassis, you know, that's just purpose built for, um, uh, for racing. It, I mean, yes, it is purpose built for racing, but it's the same chassis that we, we are all running. So if you have a matrix chassis, this is it. So yes, you can get them to work better. Uh, it's just, you know, it's just how far do you want to go? And this thing as a factory unit from right from them is, it's pretty wild. It's definitely impressive. It's, it's, it's responsive. It's fun. It feels like you could just almost bunny hop the thing. It's so responsive and the suspension works so good. It's just like wherever you want it to go, it's going to go and that's it. So I don't know, Bruce, this thing's pretty, pretty wild. It is it's really fun. They, they, they build 150 of them and they're all most, all of them are out there doing cross country thing. Mm -hmm. I'm just lucky enough to be able to have one and, and do our thing with it and, and compare and, and, and use that information on this, you know, from valving to measurements to what it feels like to put it towards what we do for anybody else. Mm -hmm. You know, just again, that bandwidth of what you want. Yeah. So it's a ton of fun. I might be uh, leaving my VR1 at home today to ride this thing. Yeah, good day for <laughs> it. Yeah. So, but that's it guys. We finally got, we're able to ride together and get this thing on snow and, you know, kind of give you guys an overview of what we feel, but that is going to do it for this. If you can potentially get your hands on one of these and try it out, I highly, highly recommend you do it. And don't write off that it's a 600 because it's a pretty nasty little 600, but that is going to do it guys. Make sure to go over to 322 threads. The giveaway is still live right now. Uh, anything that you place gets you automatically entered into the giveaway, but that's going to do it. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.